Get ready to feel itchy and very uncomfortable. No matter how recently you've showered or how good your personal hygiene is, you can't wipe away the microscopic creepy crawlies that are wiggling on all of us right now. We hope you like company because you are about to learn about the millions of tiny creatures that live on us as we go over the top 10 organisms that are on you right now. Guess what might be on you right now? If you guessed face mites, you'd be wrong because those are definitely on you right now. Mites love to crawl up inside your pores and eat your grease. They also love to chillax by your hair follicles. Even though they're closely related to ticks, they're not harmful. However, they do like to breathe, which they might be doing each night when you go to sleep and it's safe to come party on your face. Hooray! What would you do if you were on a walk and it started raining? Unless you're a tap dancer or reconnecting with a long lost love on a bridge, you'd probably look for shelter as fast as you can. And that's just what the bacteria does with your belly button. What bacteria wouldn't want a warm, cozy, tucked away little flap of skin to hide in and make baby bacteria? Really, we should be proud of them. There's no way any of us could have 66 roommates and exist peacefully. Good old dust mites, AKA one of the main reasons we sneeze and have runny noses. These little guys love to live in mattresses, furniture, carpets, and pillows. Basically anything you find warm and comfy around your home, so do they. What's really cool about dust mites though, is that no matter what you do, you can't get rid of them. I'm sorry when I said cool, I'm in infuriating. At least Klebsiella pneumoniae live in your intestines. If you're going to be a gross bacteria that we can't get rid of, you should at least live in a gross part of our body. Unfortunately, if they escape and enter other places, they cause problems, including pneumonia. I wish everything was named after a problem it caused. Then my boss would be named Mr. Has No Life Out of Work and I'd be named Miss So Good in Bed It Scares People. HIV, bird flu, and swine flu are all diseases that we got from animals. But humans finally return the favor by giving this bacteria to grapevines. That's right, the same plants that create wine also shocked scientists by catching this bacteria from us. Not only now does it reproduce directly on the bark, it has also formed an endocellular symbiosis with the plant. So next time anyone accuses humans of not giving back to mother nature, <laughs> feel free to correct them. Give them something to whine about. Stinky cheese doesn't smell like feet. It's literally made of the same bacteria. Brevibacterium linens is the bacteria that creates Munster, Limburger, Wisconsin Brick, and of course, toe jam. Next time someone tells you that your feet stink, just tell them that you and your bacteria are aging to perfection. Don't put baby in a corner. Staph bacteria refuses to be stereotyped and it'll cause any type of infection that it wants, including pimples, boils, scalded sin syndrome, as well as life-threatening infections like toxic shock syndrome, pneumonia, and sepsis. So next time someone tries to limit your potential, remember that staph would infect anything it wants to, and so can you. Do you have dry or oily skin? No matter what your skin ailments, feel free to blame Malazaziya yeast because the fungus requires fat to grow. It likes to attach itself to the scalp, face, and generally the upper part of your body. But then it gorges itself too much and pushes new cells out of the way so they have to grow somewhere else. Once you've got new cells growing where they shouldn't, you've got dandruff, dermatitis, and a bunch of other skin problems completing the nasty circle of fungus life. Do you want a guaranteed way to annoy just about anyone? Walk up to them and ask if they've got a microcaucus. <laughs> Once they don't burst out in uncontrollable laughter, you can explain to them that microcaucus is a bacteria. Therefore, you are smart and your joke is hilarious. When they stop returning your text, ask them on loop if they're just upset because they have a microcaucus. When your friends and family have abandoned you, remember that you'll never be truly alone because you'll always have your microcaucus joke. Oh, and just so you know, Micrococcus is the bacteria that gets caught in your fabric and creates a bad odor. E. coli, the Beyonce of bacteria. Always in the press, always making waves and reinventing itself. While this bacteria lives harmlessly in the gut of most organisms, some nasty serotypes can cause food poisoning. Some fun facts about E. coli are that it can reproduce in only 20 minutes. It's transferred via the oral fecal route and it's number one single of all time was Independent Women Part One. Oh, wait, no, that one, that one was Beyonce. Well, I hope you've enjoyed scratching yourself as much as watching this video. Hope you and your many, many bacteria have a great day. Check back next time to find out what else is rank worthy.